This episode is sponsored by Squarespace, and our clothes were provided by Rab. I love learning new things. I love making things. And I bloody well love a good old-fashioned adventure. Over the years on this channel, you have seen me build my own mountain bike to take on great adventures through beautiful Montana. Last year, we made a Damascus carabiner to go caving. And today, I want to make an ice axe and go ice climbing. What is an ice axe? Well, it's a tool with a handle and a pick that you can thrust into the ice or snow to pull yourself up a mountain. The ice tools of yesteryear featured wooden handles and forged heads, but we're gonna be making the pick for a more modern variety. Although I really do wanna make a traditional style one in the future. All right, let's have a look at what the pick actually looks like. Oh. These are little weights. Uh. Oh, and there we go. That is what we've got to make. The steel that we're going to be starting from comes from our last episode's project. The bar currently has this beautiful W's pattern, and we're going to forge it down, grind it, cut it, restack it to keep making it more complex. Here is what our bit of Damascus steel is looking like right now. I have forge welded those bits into a block. It's this lovely pattern repeated up, 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 up. But I noticed some cracks as I was welding this together. See the remnants of one there. And so before any of them get any worse, considering I am going to be hanging perilously off this tool, I wanna to see if I can grind out the cracks now at this point. Righto, we got through the cracks. Let's have a look at the pattern. That is what I'm talking about. So we're gonna take that pattern, stretch it out this way, and it's gonna be oriented like this on the pick. When this thing is done, we are going to be taking it on one hell of an adventure. And just one of the ways that you could use today's sponsor is in building a blog to document all of the great adventures that you take. Squarespace is an online website building platform with nigh on limitless possibilities. Whether it is you want to sell unlimited products, physical or digital, you want to write that blog about your adventures and travels around the world, or you want to sell your time using the Squarespace scheduling feature. And if you're an artist, you can build a portfolio website to share your work. Using Squarespace's powerful drag and drop tools, you can move things around exactly how you want, build custom forms, and even make and sell your own merch on there using their approved third party extensions. I've been using Squarespace for almost a decade and started my business with its selling tools. And so no matter what the future holds for you, you're gonna be squared away with Squarespace. So please go to squarespace.com forward slash forge, where you're gonna get a free trial and then code forge at checkout will get you 10% off your first purchase. And since it's an all-in-one platform, you can even buy your domain there and the discount is valid for that too. See how effortless it is at the link down below. Let's get back to the video. Right, I have ground off the forge scale on this piece. It's looking good. The actual pick needs to be four millimeters thick. Right now it's 5.56 millimeters thick. But before moving on, I want to do another little test etch, wipe the acid on, expose what the pattern looks like so that we can plan whereabouts we're gonna cut the pick from to make sure that we have the coolest pattern possible. Right, so now I know my most critical area dimensionally is off on this side. And by being able to focus on just this area, it's gonna make life a little bit easier because I want to bring it closer to final dimension in the mill. And if I was trying to make this entire thing perfectly flat, my ends would be wobbling all over the place here. I can clamp it in the vise in such a way the key area is nicely supported. Let this stuff rattle around and get a nasty surface finish and not have to worry about it at all because the pick itself is tapered. It's flat back here, but about halfway up, it thins down just a little bit.
Next up, let's get our mounting holes put in. So now, it is time for the heat treat. I need to harden this thing. Now one of the big concerns here, and I really wish I'd have thought about it, are these square teeth I filed in. I'm not super concerned about the rounded ones, but there is a concern as a result of a stress concentration in these little corners, we get a crack propagating towards that hole. I'm also concerned that we could get really bad warpage because that means we then have to straighten it, which is putting stresses on something with these little file marks in it. Here we go. Fingers crossed, firmly crossed, firmly, firmly, firmly crossed fingers. She's out of the heat treat. Now we've got to compare hardness a little bit. It bites on the original, so it's not too hard. And that's pretty similar here. So that leaves me hopeful that it's not going to be so brittle, uh, that it snaps and I plunged to my death. In not a long time, this is the last day that we have in the workshop. And so today, I need to get this thing ground, nice clean flat surfaces, the correct bevels installed, and I need to get it hand sanded and etched. And then we've got to pack all our stuff, drive to the airport, and bloody go to Chamonix in the French Alps. All right, Jamie, I will see you in the morning because we've got a flight to catch to get to the mountains. Whoa! Do I look like silly? Or am, I, am I good? You always look silly, mate. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nothing I can do, is there? You good? Yeah. All right, so we have made it to Chamonix Mont Blanc, and because we don't know what we're doing, we are joined by professional guide Dave Searle. How are you doing, right? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for uh, teaching us. We're going to go ice climbing, so we have to put skins on our skis. We've just come off the chairlift, skin up this hill, go find ourselves a nice cliff. We've very kindly been provided our gear for surviving this hazardous environment by Rab. It's a big shout out to Rab. Thank you very much. Yo! They're coming to save you already. <laughs> I think they're dropping off beer to a local refuge. Sounds like the plan is we are going to be going off of, off of that right there. Lovely. <laughs> Once we're geared up, here is what we've got to do. We've got to abseil down from this boulder, find another anchor, abseil off it down our ice face before seeing if we can climb it back to the top. There he goes. Next up is me. 
<laughs> There's the ice axe, staged and ready to go. Oh. Right, rep comes down and then we go down some more, eh? Good luck. Let me send good luck. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing! I love this! I'm also terrified. Wrapping up wall. Getting cosy. Alex come down. This is mental! I love it! Proper fun! How did you find that, Jamie? That was pretty cool. Yeah, I think that might be the coolest rappel or abseil that we've ever done. See, it's one thing to do it in a cave, but like doing it with this view, good lord. All right, so we're here at the bottom after abseiling down, and the next step is Dave is gonna climb up that whole pitch, leading it, and in order to protect himself while he's leading, he's gonna be using those ice screws. If I can just get this knot undone. Oh no, you've got a <laughs> tangle in your ice tool leash. And then once he's gone up, we're then gonna be belayed by Dave at the top of that anchor, while we then climb up and uh, get this thing stuck in some ice. Snow doesn't really count, does it? All right, Jamie, good luck. See you at the top. Happy climbing. Woo! You having a good time? Hard, oh, man. There it is. Slap. Comes a nice screw. Whew. My hands are fine, my toes are free. Yeah? You ready? Yeah. Right there. That's it, it's doing the job. The ice axe is doing it. Look how far up we've come, Jamie. This is no joke terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and extremely tiring. Yeah, it is. I got cold hands, my calves are pumping. I hope this looks as vertical as it is. Yeah, it probably it's, doesn't. You know how it goes on camera, right? It's straight up. All right, it's a bit of a choke point here, eh? I wonder if I can go to the left. Ooh. Ah. Right. My face! Ah! My face. Am I bleeding? Yeah, just something. Yeah, it got me right in the fucking mouth. Did you get some yeah, that's why I'm bleeding. It was lovely. Love it. Dave, I hope there's a Guinness at the top for me. Yeah, you brought the Guinness, right? <laughs> Woo! Get in now. Get in, Dorothy. Right through Dave's toe. Oh. Oh! oh, we made it to the top. Thank you, Dave. That was awesome. Jamie, you're ice climbing. We've made it. Scale of this is like a normal day and the hardest thing you've ever done. Where oh, is this, this? This may be the hardest thing I've ever done. Holy crap, that was tiring. <laughs> but awesome, I feel accomplished, you know? Well done. We've done it, it's tight quarters Ooh. up here. Yes, Jamie, <laughs> well done. Yes, man. It made it, how's it looking? It's pretty good, a little bit worn. It's still in the job, chaps. Is it still sharp? I did, it, did I hit any rock? It's still dead sharp. These teeth are very sharp. The Damascus steel ice axe has only bloody gone and done it. It's taken us up a big old pitch of ice and we are the last few steps away Wah! from being at the top. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dave. I can't believe we did it. You got a YouTube channel too, don't you? Yeah, check it out. Um, Dave Searle. And that's mountaineering content, skiing content. Yeah. 
all the good stuff. Big thank you to Square Squarespace for sponsoring the video. Check them out down below. Big thank you to Rab for providing the amazing clothes that we wore. And Jamie, thank you for doing the scariest thing you've ever done <laughs> to come on this trip with me. Yeah, it's just another day in the office. Easy peasy. <laughs>